Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to check Hub Runout. New videos are being released every week. Keep up to date with my latest video by hitting the notification bell on my channel homepage. Hub Runout is a lateral movement, which the hub is running off center. This can cause a mild to excessive vibrations depending on the severity, either in the steering, throughout the whole vehicle, or brake pedal. Depending on the severity of the runout, this can easily cause parts to wear out or create premature failure. If you are looking to check rotor runout, I do have a video on that, so be sure to check it out. But this video does relate to it, as depending on the vehicle's design, the rotor may be mounted to the separate hub, like on this vehicle here. As you can see, I have just recently installed a brand new wheel bearing for this example. If your hub does have some debris buildup on the face, I would recommend cleaning up the surface with some sandpaper as this can affect our readings. For this you will need a dial indicator and a mounting hardware. Normally you can use a magnetic base, but in this case most of the suspension components are made of aluminum. I do not have a clamp so instead I've used a bolt to connect it to where the brake carrier mounts to. Preloaded dial indicator, I would recommend about 50 thousandths of an inch and make sure it runs on the furthest point from the center of the hub face. It's important to measure the furthest point as this will show for maximum runout. As an example with this diagram you can see the red line, both horizontal and vertical, demonstrates a square 90 degree angle. Closer to the center we have a smaller value, while at the furthest point of the hub you can see we have a larger distance measurement. Zero the dial indicator by rotating the face and tighten the lock if equipped. Now rotate the hub and watch the dial. Here we have less than one thou of runout, which is good. Maximum allowable runout will depend on your vehicle manufacturer specifications, so be sure to consult with your vehicle specs first. Excessive runout can be caused by poorly machined surfaces, a bent hub, or a worn bearing. It's also important to check the hub runout when checking the rotor for runout if both assemblies are separate. So that would mean the rotor, hub, and wheel bearing isn't one assembly. This concludes the rest of my video. If you have any comments, please feel free to post them below. Also, subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.